Hello friends, this video on matrices part 25 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 24. Let's take a scenario where we get zero matrix as product, product of two non-zero matrices. So if we know that if A and B are non-zero, still we have, can have A, B as zero if A and B are matrices. But in a number system, it is not possible. If you have A and B are 0 equal to 0, then either A has to be equal to 0 or B has to be equal to 0 or both are equal to 0. In the real or complex number world. But in case of matrices, A cross B matrices is equal to 0 does not mean that both A and B matrices are non-zero. Uh, does, does not mean that A and B matrices are 0. It may be possible that both A and B matrices are non-zero, but still you get the product as 0. This example will take, this is one example, just to explain that because we have learned this uh, funda. So let's multiply this guy with this, let's say A cross B is nothing but 0, minus 1, 0, 2 and this is 3, 5, 0. So let's multiply this with this. What do you get? 0 into 3 is 0. So you get 0 into 3 is 0 plus minus 1 into 0 is 0. This element, second element is nothing but first of this and second column, first row, second column. 0 into 5 is 0, plus 1 into, minus 1 into 0 is 0. This guy is nothing but second row, first column. 0 into 3 is 0, plus 2 into 0 is 0. This guy is second row, second column. 0 into 5 is 0, plus 2 into 0 is 0. So what we are getting here is 0, 0, 0. So we got a zero matrix as product of two non-zero matrices. Please note, it is possible product of two non-zero matrices can be a zero. So having understood multiplications and uh, we have solved also so many questions on multiplication, let's just understand some properties of multiplications. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos. Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.